Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. This is a message primarily about the return of year 10. There is a letter version of this on our website. But before I talk about year 10, if you're watching this and you're in year 7, 8, 9 or 11, please continue to work from home. Please ensure that you're completing the workbook work and sending those images in through the subject email addresses so that we can provide you with that feedback. Get on those Google Classrooms and make sure that you're completing the work. The more work you complete, the more feedback we can give you and therefore the more progress you will make. But back to year 10. The government have now finally given us a roadmap about how to reintegrate year 10 back into school. And that progress and that work starts today. You will receive a survey and it's really important that you complete that survey as a year 10 parent and send that back to us so that we've got a clear understanding of your intention about whether you're going to send your child back or not. How is it going to happen then? From next week, that's Tuesday the 16th of June, we will start reintegrating year 10. We have split the 160 students of year 10 into four groups of 40 students because the government tells us we can only have a quarter year group in at any one time. So your child will be given a day of the week to attend and they will be given a time slot and an entrance to actually arrive at. The time slot for most students will be 20 past nine with a view to a 9.30 start. The entrance will be one of the main entrances at school and it will be one specific day of the week. What will be the offer on that day? Well, each child will get a lesson of English, a lesson of maths, a lesson of science and some supported study time to work on their option subjects. Each student will receive a lead teacher because those 40 students will be split into four hubs if you like of 10 students in each one so the maximum class size will be 10 students. We have a really really stringent risk assessment in place that's been passed by FCAT, it's also been passed by the teaching union so we do feel that we can keep everybody safe. Sub subject specialists will be teaching those lessons and where they are not in the classroom those will be beamed in via live video link. So the offer that we're putting in place is a really good one to support that remote learning that should be taking place on the other four days when each student is not in school. Clearly, we are in a public health crisis and the expectations around behaviour at Aspire are always very, very high, but they are as high as they can possibly be at the moment. So we expect students to behave and conduct themselves appropriately in school. We have added some further detail to our behaviour policy, which is online and you can see the COVID-19 section. If a student cannot follow the basic rules and cannot uh, be safe in school, then we will send that student home and we will have to complete a risk assessment before they can return to school. If you decide that you are not going to send your child back, then we'd love to know why. So when you complete that survey that will be sent out to you today, please give us the reason if you're not planning on sending your child back. If you change your mind in the future, then you can apply for a place very, very quickly using the admin email address. If you have any queries in the meantime, either use that admin email address or contact your wellbeing link, the person who's been making those calls uh, to you and they will answer any queries that you may have. Thanks very much for your time. Kind regards, take care, stay safe.